Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on how to get your DDGA 200 to output two audio um, outputs, um, not using a splitter. Um, so if you don't have this or lost it, or you want to do another output to say a Bluetooth device, um, this is the way to do it. So what we're going to do is going to switch to the next angle and we're going to load up the MIDI um, options within macOS. So this only works for macOS. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the MIDI. And if you want to do this really quickly, you can literally get this spotlight search and type in MIDI. And you can do that by control and a spacebar. And try MIDI. And then it will bring up this settings window here. So what we need to do is we need to create a new aggregate device. So if you go to the bottom right hand side, Press plus, then go create aggregate device. And what this is essentially doing is saying, well, the, this, these sources here need to go to these sources here. So it's splitting things out. So it's very much a digital audio splitter. So for this purpose, I am going to export to the Mac speakers. And the thing is that with Macs, it only just shows devices that have been connected. So we have the three and a half mil jack, and we're going to place that into the headphone socket here, and that will then now display in the settings. And we're going to click that. So we have the two options here: we have the MacBook Pro speakers, as well as the external headphones. Now that's all set up, and just make sure that it's on forty-eight kilohertz, and we can actually close this down now. That's all set up. Don't have to worry about it. And so the next thing we need to do is actually load up record box and we're going to load it up, which will hopefully see the new output settings that we have created in the MIDI, in MIDI settings. And it's loading up. There you go. And let's just get rid of the overhead camera. So what we're going to do is we are going to the top right hand side and it's all connected. It's giving me tutorials. Um, top right hand side, I'm going to go to our preferences wheel cog and we're going to select the second tab, which is audio. And as you see, it's already selected aggregates, but usually it is on the splitter or headphones. And what we want to do is we've got the aggregate and we want to make sure the mixer mode here is set to internal. We're going to scroll down here and go to output channels and we've got master from the phone. So Let's put master as the first one and then headphones as the phones. So let's see if this has worked. So let's just go and grab a couple of tracks. So let's da -da -da, record and let's just go to a random playlist and select these two. Bonk, bonk. And so theoretically, I am going to get the Push this to the side here and then bring back the overhead. Hello. And what we're going to do as well, that was ridiculously fast. Um, anyway, for all intents and purposes, so I have none of the um, headphone settings coming through here. And let's just turn this down slightly. And then we're going to turn it down in very low. So you can hear that's coming through the speakers of the of the MacBook, and then as we pull, push the crossfader across, you can hear that it's coming. It's not coming out, and then I am going to press um, the one of the headphones, and that is coming through here, nice and clearly. So I can hear the audio coming through on track or deck one, and then I can. Then obviously, let's bring in the second track. And then that should be coming through the speakers of the... There you go. Yeah, it's coming through the speakers of the MacBook Pro. So I hope that helps you. And it's very much all done through the MIDI settings. Let's just stop all this. And then you can actually output your master to Bluetooth or maybe a Sonos system 
or any system you like and um, without having to have one of these guys so anyway thanks for listening and um, until next time